Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good morning to everybody. Alright, how are you today? Okay, uh, before this, uh, in uh, BIM design, we learn about uh, the distribution of stress, right? The distribution of stress using the rectangular, rectangular stress block. Okay, this is the rectangular stress block. Right, and we also learn about the types of failure. Okay, the balance section, the under reinforced section, and also over reinforced section. So today, I will highlight about some problems that arise in beam design. Okay, means that the example how we want to design the beam. Okay, so first of all, there were two cases. Okay, there were two cases. Okay, first we want to design a beam. Okay, and then second cases is we want to design check. We want to check the design. Okay, so for so for first cases, first case, okay, if you want to design a beam, so uh, the question or the given information is the cross section, the concrete strength, okay, the steel reinforcement strength, and also the applied ultimate bending moment so uh, this question uh, we need to determine the area okay and the number of reinforcement required all right so means that uh, the answer will be uh, three three numbers of steel with a diameter of 20 mm let just example all right and the second example is uh, we want to make a design check okay given a cross section the concrete strength number strength and size of steel reinforcement provided and we want to determine the moment of resistance right in first case uh, the ultimate bending moment are given but in second case for design check we want to determine the moment of resistance Okay, so there were uh, two two type of beam. Okay, first is singly reinforced. We just uh, place the reinforcement at the bottom side of the beam. Okay, single, no at the at the upper side. Okay, second is double reinforced. Okay, there is a bottom part and also the upper part. Okay, we place the reinforcement, and there were two types of section, which is the rectangular section. And also flange section. Okay, flange in Malay we call it as baby bay, or we can say like a T beam, right? So the cases is still same, where uh, we apply the rectangular section. We just have the additional section flange, right? <coughs> okay, so uh, this is the uh, explanation. Okay, you can refer to page thirty three. I will back it. Uh, I will back in here uh, after this. Okay, so for first example, okay, uh, the size given are B times D, 250 times 500 mm. And this is the uh, information given, FCK, FYK, and also bending moment. So, we need to determine the area. So, the area we want to determine, okay, the AS, right? So, how we want to start? Okay, so first of all, okay, we need to determine the M balance. M balance. M balance equals to 0 0.167 FCK BD squared. So, we have here, we elaborate 0. 167 so the FCK is 25 so the FCK unit is Newton per mm squared and this is also Newton mm squared and the unit also is mm so all are same same unit mm and the B is 250 and the D is, we have 500. 
squared. Okay, and then after we multiply, okay, 0 0.167 times 25 times 250 times 500 squared. Okay, we have 2609375500 Newton mm squared. Okay, and then to simplify, we just use the 261 kilo Newton meter. Okay. Okay. So this is the moment balance that we have. And then we need to compare with the bending moment. Okay, bending moment is 175. Bending moment is 175. So means that our M balance is bigger with the 175. So what this mean? Okay, M balance. Okay, M balance is the uh, moment that we need to stabilize. Okay, to stabilize the the beam. Okay, so this is the what in the Okay, this is our beam. Okay. Okay, ambulance is uh, the moment we need to stabilize the beam. Can okay, you just my illustration? Okay. But the ultimate bending is the moment which will overturn or damage the beam. So since the ambulance is bigger than 175, so the conclusion is so. Uh, the compression reinforcement is not required. Okay, so we just come up with our design with a single reinforcement at the bottom of the beam because uh, as we learned before, the upper part will have the compression and the lower part will have the tension. So, the compression part is strength enough. Okay, so the ambulance, the moment to balance the beam is bigger than the ultimate bending moment. So, means that it is balanced enough. So, we don't need the upper part, just the lower part okay are you understand for the first step so this is the first step okay first step we need to calculate the M balance alright okay second step okay we need to calculate the moment of resistance okay so from this uh, previous notes, there is two types of moment of resistance. Okay, first is respect to steel, and second is respect to concrete. Okay, what is the difference? Okay, so uh, as I mentioned you before, okay, uh, we just to design our beam with a single, okay, with a single reinforcement. So means that the compression part is strong enough. So means that uh, the balance of the moment will be catered by the steel. So that's why we will use the moment of resistance with respect to steel. Okay, we will use this equation. Okay, because concrete is strong enough, so the balance moment will be catered by the steel alright so that's why we choose on that part ok so M M is equal to 
एफ सी के बी डी नो बी एक्स बी एक्स एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय सेट सो दिस इज एफ एस F S F F C C no no yeah F C C concrete okay this is F C C dot Z and Z is D minus zero point four X okay so we have here uh, we have the uh, ultimate bending that we need to withstand. The ultimate bending, okay, bending moment. So it is one seven five times ten uh, to the power of six. Okay, equals to okay the elaboration of this zero point five uh, four five four. F C K is twenty uh, five. K okay, B is two five zero. Okay, then we have X and D is five hundred minus zero point four. X. Okay, so we will have a quadratic equation, and after we uh, have the answer, so x is equal to one three eight point seven mm, or one 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 mm. So we will choose the the lowest one. Okay, we will choose the lowest one, not the maximum one. Okay, so next. The third step is we need to determine the level arm. Is Z. So Z equal to D minus 0.4X. And we have the x before, so 500 minus 0 0.4, so x is 138.7, and we will have the z value of 444.5 mm, which is we need to compare with 0. 95 d equals to 475 mm so it means that uh, since the value of z is uh, less than 0 0.95 d so it is okay okay so the final one okay we need to determine the as okay as equals to m over 0 0.87 FYKZ okay so equals to 905 mm square all right so this is our answer for this question okay the question needs the area of reinforcement Okay, so we have the area of reinforcement of 905 mm squared. Okay, so uh, at another video, I will explain how we want to determine the number of the number and the size okay, of the reinforcement needed. Okay, so see you later. Okay, thank you. Bye.